Tesla Model Y, getting a price hike, probably going higher than 60 grand. Is it really worth it? We'll break it down and discuss it in this video. I just bought one, but I didn't pay that much. But would I have bought it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. On this channel, you can look forward to investing videos, videos helping you save money, and usually everybody's second most highest expense is their vehicles. And so if you're going to get a vehicle, why not get the one that's going to give you the most bang for your buck, save you money in the long run. And so far, Tesla Model Y has been a very popular car because it's doing just those things. So ladies and gentlemen, the marketplace has spoken. Tesla is on back order for their Model Ys, long range and now the performance model. And when that happens in the marketplace, it means that you probably got to raise the prices a little bit just to see if the marketplace can continue to handle it. And so Tesla is about to be raising their price and they're going to go a little higher than 60000 And if you would have bought this car in January 2020, Kelly Blue Book is already telling you your Model Y resale right now right now it's still nine thousand dollars more than what you paid for it at the january of 2020 for a long range and so when you have those things going on of course you're going to get a price hike but when you start talking about is it worth it sometimes that comes down to the individuals and so what are you getting with tesla compared to all the other cars in its class tesla just blows the water out in terms of range comparison so you've got the Mustang, you've got the Honda, you've got the Audi, you've got all these other cars in the same range. Tesla's range for the long range one is third, 330 miles on a single charge. Ladies and gentlemen, that is unbelievable for that type of car. And it charges pretty quick compared to some of the other, the other cars out there in the marketplace. To go from 10% on a single charge up to 80%, it only takes 30 minutes on your Tesla Model Y, which is really, really fast. Not on the Model Y and the Model 3. And I'm blown away by how fast the Model Y charges up. And the other thing that has made Tesla better than some of the other EV manufacturers that are out there right now is because Tesla has just that huge, huge supercharging network that no one else currently has. That's what's kicking everybody's butt. They have not only the best battery technology and the tech, best technology in the car, but they also have the best supercharger network. So if you go to a better route planner and you was to compare how long it would take for you to drive a Tesla Model Y versus all the other EVs from LAX to PDX, from all the way to the top of California down to the bottom, this is what you can expect to get in charging time. To do that same charge, on a Tesla Model Y long range, your total charging time is gonna be an hour and 30, 39 minutes. Compared to a Mach E Mustang, compared to the Kia, compared to the Audi, they're all three hours or more in total time it takes to go from LAX to PDX. And that's one of the major advantages Tesla brings you in terms of what it's offering with its car. Now, that's just not the only thing you get for this value, my people. You've already seen how Kelly Blue Book is showing you that this car, for the most part, appreciates in value due to all the software updates they send you in the vehicle. So that's the next thing I got to talk about, the software updates. And if you have an Apple phone, an Apple phone, and you have the app, the Century Mode app, you can now remotely see what's going on around your car and speak to the car. Take a look. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Unbelievable. Now, Tesla, when are you going to go ahead and get that technology for us Android people so that we can use it? But not only that, you get the theater in your car so that you can watch Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube when you stop. You've got the Joe modes. You've got the satellite view. You've got all these other great technologies inside the car. Not to mention the autopilot, which will let you take your hands off the wheel and drive in one lane. 
or you can go ahead and get full self-driving, which is now driving you throughout the city in beta mode, but on the highway, it'll go exit to exit. You ain't even got to put your hands on the wheel. But more importantly, the thing that people really want to know they're getting is annual cost savings on the vehicle going forward. And if you go to fueleconomy.gov, here's the data on annual energy costs on the long range Model Y compared to some of the other cars in this brand. And we'll just talk about the RAV4 right now. If you live in California or Texas, on average for your energy because of gas, you're going to wind up paying $1,300 a year. $1,300. Driving a minimum of 15,000 miles in a year. But if you've got the Model Y, long range, you're only going to be paying $550 a year. And they're basing that on you charging at home and the rates in Texas is 12 cent a kilowatt and in California is 23 23 cent a kilowatt so they average those two that comes to about 14 cents a kilowatt not to mention you don't have to go see a mechanic because you don't have an internal combustion engine what we call ice so there's no changing of oil there's none of that and ladies and gentlemen whenever they make improvements to the car they send it to you over the internet and then for the battery and powertrain Tesla gives you a eight year long warranty and those two things are the highest amount that you would have to spend in, re in, in maintenance on this car if something were to go wrong. So to answer the question, is the price hike up to $60,000 worth it for this car? Absolutely. And especially if you're someone who's an independent contractor, maybe you are a YouTuber like me or you're doing Instagram and you're basically in business for yourself. The car is also almost a complete write-off on your taxes, meaning that the price of the car, you can write it off over the course of two years using something called double depreciation. So ladies and gentlemen, it's hands down the best in EV right now. And of all the EVs you can buy, even from Tesla, the Model Y is probably the best one because of all those, you also get the most trunk space for that same value. So ladies and gentlemen, post me your comments on how much you love your Model Y if you got one. And if you're looking to get a new car, why not get a Model Y? Check my link in the description and then you can get yourself some free supercharging. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life gain. If you're someone who's trying to get into investing or you want to know a little bit more about real estate, stocks, or even Tesla, there is a link down below so you can have a video session one-on-one -on -one with me for an hour where we can wrap it up and try to help you guys out in making these decisions that impact your finances. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.